What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, we won't regret it. You're returning subscribers as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, what would you do if you had, if you lived in an apartment, right? And you guys had a neighbor that was, uh, that you really didn't get along with. I mean, some of us do have those. And, um, your wife and children suddenly start getting sick. And uh, you start smelling chemicals in your house. And you know it's not the maintenance people and all this other stuff. Only to find out that the neighbor that really doesn't care for you is the one doing it. Now, a lot of y'all out there wouldn't be happy. Well, nobody would be happy with that. But this story I'm about to tell you, I mean, putting myself in that position, I'd have mollywhopped this guy. Hands down, he'd have got rocked. Look how crazy this dude is. Check this out. I wish no one else has to go through what we went through. When his 10-month-old baby started vomiting and he smelled chemicals around his condo, Umar Abdullah said he had to do something. Then I actually double-checked. I started sniffing that place like a dog. He said he changed his water heater, called the fire department, still nothing. Then he said he thought about his downstairs neighbor, Zhu Ming Li, who kept complaining about noises from upstairs. Even during war, the worst enemies do not attack the opponent, the other party, with chemicals. He installed a hidden camera, and lo and behold, he caught Lee, appearing to fill a syringe with liquid and injecting it under his door. The first thing <laughs> that, uh, that came to my mind, my daughter and my wife, they need to be safe. Lee was arrested and charged with multiple felonies, including possession of a controlled substance and burglary. Are you worried your daughter is going to have some long-term side effects? I don't want to think about it. Hillsborough County's arrest record lists Lee as a student at USF. The school told Aid on Your Side he was a chemistry PhD student, but is no longer enrolled there. In a statement to Aid on Your Side, Lee's attorney said that Lee pled not guilty and all the facts will come out in due course of time. A neighbor who supposedly, who's seemingly uh, a regular guy, he was coming and harming us with chemical. And that was very scary for us. As I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't really down it with committing violence or putting your hands on somebody. But this dude right here deserved his, to get his behind beat. This man had a 10-month-old and a wife, a little girl, and they got sick. Said the baby was uh, throwing up and all this other stuff. This guy's sticking chemicals under the door. Now, regardless if he had a PhD or he had a degree in that and he was studying that, he shouldn't have did that. And furthermore, he talking about in court. Oh, I'm I'm pleading not guilty. We'll have our day in court. Moron, you better take a deal or something because uh, they got you all over the video. So what you going to say? That's not you. Listen. I'm keeping it dead and honest with you guys. And this is real rap here. When I seen what the cause was making my wife and my daughter sick, especially my little girl, I just set him right up. Soon as he bent down and opened uh, to start spraying that stuff in there, I came out and kung fu kicked the shit out of his ass. I hit him with the Buddhist palm. As soon as he got on the ground, I stomped him the hell out. Fuck wrong with you. You know better. It's like some people, man, they take the law into their own hands and feel as though because they're not having a way to go take it out. And then he did it on some sneaky uh, punk stuff. You know what I mean? Go squeak under the door like they'll never know it was me. That's some coward stuff. I don't like when people do them kind of play them kind of games. They getting sick. You know they they getting sick and you sitting there. And he did this more than once. That's the thing. That's why I'd have, I'd have flipped him. I'd have flipped this week. He did this more than once. I don't understand it. If you don't like noise, don't move in an apartment. You'll hear noise all the time. Like where I'm at. I got a neighbor that's below me. You know, and uh, my daughter comes over here. She jumps and dances and all this other stuff. Neighbor came up here one time. Hey, what's going on up here? I said, I got my daughter for the weekend. And, uh, you know, she's in here dancing. And he was like, oh, okay. Because he thought it was fighting going on. But my daughter, she's seven. So she's heavy footed and jumping around. I never had no more problems out of that. And the way he came at me was respectful. 
He came up there and complained to them. I don't know how the interchange, the exchange was, but there's always avenues you can go to get your point across. But doing something underhanded like that, sneaky, nah, hell no. I mean, he would get he would have got the full force. I mean, I'd I'd have, I'd have tried to knock his face off. Then it's like you know, everybody, everybody around you don't live like you. And it's just one of those things like me. I'm on the top floor. I did that on purpose because a lot of times you don't know who's going to be on top of you. Last apartment I stayed in before this one, they used to fight like cats and, cats and dogs. They would always be early in the morning, three, four in the morning. She's screaming for her life. I don't want to hear all that, you know, but I mean, it's not up to me to go up there and put firecrackers at the door or like spray bleach at their door. That's underhanded coward stuff. It's ways of handling it. You know, me, I had three months left in my, my lease. They can have at it with this place. It can be somebody else's problem. I don't even care, you know. But um, what he did was wrong, and he knows it. He knows it's wrong. He going to go to jail. I mean, it ain't prison or nothing like that. But, I mean, people did get sick, so something has to be done to him. Then the thing is this. You still live over there. You got to look this man in the face when y'all coming up the stairs and crossing paths. Because he, le he, li he lived under him. So I mean, he had to go upstairs with a needle in his hand, looking stupid, spraying that all on the door. I wonder how he would have reacted, though, if the guy had opened the door. Though. I think that would have been a funny-ass exchange. Because he from looked like he from India or somewhere over in Asia, and then he, he arguing with the Chinese dude. How could the Chinese dude explain what he was doing? I think when the door opened up, he had jumped up and like, tried to act like he was walking by or something. I wouldn't have fell for that. I'd have seen you spray them chemicals in that ring doorbell. I'd have took the next three days off from work. As soon as he and like I'd have made noise, a whole bunch of noise the night before. So he'll come up there the next day. As soon as he came up there, I'd have came out the door, kicked the hell out of his face, and I'd have made the sound so he'd know I know that shit. I'd have been like, "Hold!" And I'd have, you know they be pumping like that. I'd have kicked the hell out of him. And if that didn't work, I'd have just. Gave him the hands, but all in all, it's messed up. Glad they caught this piece of crap. Leave me a comment, man. Tell me what y'all would do if y'all came out and seen him doing it. Because I ain't going to lie. When I seen the ring doorbell, I would have called the cops because I, I know me. I get angry real fast. I would have called the cops. I would have showed him the ring doorbell and I would have had them go down there and lock his dumb ass up. I mean, it sounds crazy, but I mean. Say you put your hands on him and don't call the police. And then he come up there with something else that he can spray on the door because he know these he know chemistry. Bring something in that make y'all all fall out or or could you can get irreversible brain damage from smelling some type of chemical concoction he done made. Sometimes it ain't worth it. But I mean, I think I would have kicked his ass and then called the cops. And then when they was about to lock me up, I show him the video like this is why I fucked him up. Honestly. That's just me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what y'all would do. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, the live stream is tonight at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Be there.